Do you still remember the chair challenge that became viral in 2019? You know, the one where you put a chair along a wall, stand next to it, bend over at 90 degrees, put your head against the wall, lift your chair, and then try to straighten your back while the chair is still lifted. What was sensation about this was that females found this super easy, but men struggled, just like this guy right here. But why? The center of mass or center of gravity of an object is defined as the point where all the object's weights can be considered to act from. For a uniform object, it's easy to spot its center of mass. We just need to find two lines of symmetry. And where they intersect, that's the center of mass. For this shape, it's a little bit trickier because we only have one line of symmetry. But it's safe to say that the center of mass is closer towards the bottom, and that's because there is more mass at the bottom. So the center of mass must be somewhere along this line of symmetry, but it may be somewhere around here. Let's have a look at how the center of mass plays a role in an object's stability. If the center of mass remains within the base of the object, the object remains stable. Now I can apply a force at the top to cause it to pivot, but will it topple over? Not if the center of mass is still within the base. But if I push it slightly further so that the center of mass is now outside of the base, it will topple over. For most girls and women, the center of mass is lower down in the hips, while the center of mass for guys is much higher in the upper body. So when they bend over with the chair, the center of mass for most girls is above their feet. Since the center of mass is still within the base, she will not topple over towards the wall. But for the guy, the center of mass for him is outside of the base of his feet. So he can try all he wants, but he will always topple towards the wall. Thanks for watching my video and if you enjoyed it and if you learned something from it, be sure to subscribe.